Well, hey, Internet, it's Steve at Thousand Year Home. So I am building off-grid, and I'm building using two shipping containers in an ancient and modern technique. I believe the house will last a thousand years, so that's what I'm doing. I haven't worked on my house for a little bit because I've been doing logging and uh, striking why the iron's hot, uh, in this case, in Texas, cool weather. <laughs> but let's take a look here. So this is the grand entrance into my bedroom. And it's what I want to get done in the next couple of days. So these doors are just bolted in place roughly. They're not in the rough opening. And this little gap right here goes all the way down. is like Grand Central Station for Texas critters. So scorpions and June bugs and mice and you name it will go through there. So... What I need to do is I want these doors, which are tucked inside, I want these doors to be flush right here. So I'll end up cutting some of the top off the doors and I'll end up cutting some of the post to accept the door in it. So I'm not gonna cut the doors to match a wavy uh, post. I'm going to tape that and make a level line and then carve it out with my chainsaw and make a pocket for the door so that's something that i want to get done in the next couple of days so that will be you know this video will take me a couple of days but these doors i need them opening and closing and sealed with a weather strip so that i don't get critters in there and then i'll fix the transom so it opens and then i'll buy a screened opening from amazon that'll take care of that so that's the goal well my goal this evening is simple i'm going to make sure that it's level and if it is, then I'm going to do level lines across the top in such a manner that I know I can carve out that log and uh, recess the door in. So tonight's goal is just to uh, mark some lines. And I'm going to use duct tape because I'm going to end up using a chainsaw to carve the lines. And uh, this will help uh, eliminate a little bit of the tear out. But if it tears out, it's not a disaster. I'll just get a uh, wheel with a sander on it and I'll end up sanding it out. Using a chisel, there's some work that'll need to be done, but uh, maybe I'll even get that done tonight. We'll find out. It shouldn't take that long. So the good news is that it's level. So I'm going to go ahead and focus on the top and uh, just draw some lines that are also level that I'll end up cutting out with my chainsaw. And it is evening, so uh, it's cooler, but uh, let's get this done. So the doors are an inch and a half deep, so let me make some lines that... Uh, Go an inch and a half to an inch and a half, and then I'll run a tape across it. So by using a tape, I was able to make a perfectly straight line across a uh, compound, convex, concave, uneven surface there. And then I'll just pick where I want the door to go across the top. And I'll measure down from here, probably. And just make sure that that's level, and I'll measure up. So I'll do two different measurements and make sure that uh, my idea across the top works. So I believe the door opening should be like that. What I'll do is get my level and validate that this thing's level. Because I'm just guessing, I'm just eyeballing it. But if my level shows it's level, then I'll know that I did okay.
Okay. Let's see how we did. Four and a half from there. So that's saying all this is four and a half and level. So my chainsaw cut will go up and in like that. Well, hey, it's Steve at Thousand Year Home. So uh, it's been rainy off and on here. We've had a very busy day. Last night I put up the gray tape that I'm going to use as the line for me to cut uh, top and bottom and I need to cut in on the outside of that post the header for the door so the door will be recessed into it. So uh, without further ado, let me do it before the big storm comes. I have a chainsaw in my hand. I believe I'm ready. I rehearsed it in my mind. Let's see how goofed up I could make this thing. I've got them on. Now I'll do one last thing. I'll put a mark on the t on the blade, or I'll at least look at it to see how deep I want it to go, and make sure I don't go deeper than that. I'll probably just see if I could do a line or a rivet or something. So it looks to me if I don't go any deeper than that rivet, that I'll be okay straight in. So we'll try it. And always working above your head's dangerous with the saw. I'm going a little off the line. Uh, I don't care at this point. So it's food time. Let me help Leah. So we tried a new corral for Hank so he can have a little relaxation after Blaze and him uh, eat because Blaze likes bullying him a little. Anyway, we made a little corral. We saw today that panels were like 150 bucks a piece. We did the math, it'd be like $1,100 in panels. I had that old cedar here. So we had some fence posts, so we put it up, one up for free. Okay, back to this. You know, yell pumpkin if I'm gonna go too far. Okay. Anyway, I gotta get this straightened back up. I know. It's really something, isn't it? It's, it looks pretty square. Uh, it does look good, square. right? Yeah. So I don't look like I'm off yet. Uh -huh. All right. 
so that's the first pass there. Yeah. So maybe I'll do the first pass down below mm -hmm. and then I can start slowly start working into yeah. it then. This is hard on my shoulders. It does. I, over there, I'll have to fix it. Maybe. <laughs> I'm definitely going to need a shower. I can't do it that way. Nope. All right. All right. I see a little smoke. Now I'm going to check it for oil. Oh my gosh. Both of those and cut it out before it or it uh, rain comes in. Well, we need to check the weather too, because it can change. Well, they keep changing what how much they say is gonna gonna come or go. Do I look like a cedar Santa Claus or something? The uh, cedar mammoth. So anyway, I think I have it close enough with the chainsaw. Now I'm going to get a hammer and chisel and slowly start splitting it. Ultimately, I'm hoping it's reasonably flush and I can plane it down or sand it down. Uh, and then the doors will need to be cut to the right size and it fits in. So we'll see, I'm getting there though. But man, am I covered in cedar. All right, for this next phase, I'm gonna use a rock chisel because it has the back end that I think I could get in there and pry. And I've got some chisels here, a rock hammer I meant to say, and then some wood chisels here. So, yes, I wish I wasn't that itchy. <laughs> but it ain't gonna build itself. The house don't build itself. I'm going to start with the what large wedge and see if I can uh, get that to pop loose out of there. I think I'm real close. Broke that glass, you see that?
It is as tall as you. How cool. Let me zoom out. Exactly. Come here, Leah. Leah will compare a nice size. Exactly. 5'2". Yeah. 5'2". So we know this board's looking. Smells so good, doesn't it? I wish cedar would stay like that, but it doesn't take long for it to... All right. Well, that's a reasonable place to start. Yep. And, uh... Rain's on the way. Let's what I think the, I should do is uh. You mean to get the broom? Yeah, that's what uh. No, the um. Where's the round vacuum? The shop vac. That's what I should use. Well, Leah helped me find uh, the vacuum. Okay. So I'm gonna blow it off with the leaf blower and then use the vacuum in the corners. And uh, Just in time, the, storm are in. the storm is rolling in. Let's hope that most of that went out. I doubt it. But a man can hope. But roughed in is what I wanted to get done and I'm officially there. So now I've got to plane it flat and get a surface I can close a door against. Ultimately, I'd like it to be so good I could put the weather seal on the log itself. Sounding a little, a little worse for wear, like there's something blocking it. Try not to knock you down. It's still picking up though, so. Well, that was pleasant. I got all that vacuumed. I've the inside of the house isn't that bad, but I'll pass the extension cord through and we'll do the inside of the house through the door jam. So that's end piece I couldn't get close to. Uh, I was on the edge of a step. It's got several knots. So this is the most unfinished, but I, I still need to square it all off and then get in here with a uh, with a planer and plane it nice and flat. I'm pretty excited though. This this looks pretty good. For eyeballing with a chainsaw, starting with a chainsaw, uh, it's a pretty good door jam. I think you all would agree with that. Well, hey everybody, it's Steve and Leah. Listen, this is enough for me to do a wrap-up video. Yeah. Uh, I have two, maybe three inches of rain coming, which is a lot of rain in 24 mm -hmm. hours, 12 hours. So I want to button everything up, make sure that I can survive that much. The horse trough yeah. needs to be washed out. In addition, this was probably enough of a video. Yesterday, I put tape up as the line, yeah. and I did some measuring. And today, you saw I used a chainsaw. I'm going to tell you, I got very reasonable to 90 up there it looks good. I did I did I'm pretty good with a chainsaw not to pretty brag really but good. pretty good with a chainsaw yep. so I guess uh, if you want you could do the same thing I did it's just working over your head with a chainsaw is tremendously risky I had Leah here as a safety officer not that she could have done anything but watch me spurt blood from a juggler vein I would have, I would have put she would have at least cried so I would have traumatized her forever. So uh, at a, least I had that going for me. That's a Reggie. But you, anyway, seriously, keep your head on a swivel. Probably I should have used the face shield. Maybe. Yes, uh, yeah, yes uh -huh. he should have. On but uh, oh my gosh, I'm there. I've seen yep. one place where I went a little too deep. I'll fix that. All the rest of it's great. 
I just have to chisel it out, do a little planing, and I'll be ready to cut these doors and they'll close in there. And it will be an outside, outside close and they'll open out. Yes. And then we'll finish these doors, which yes. will have cedar inserts in them and they'll look amazing. Oh my gosh, I can't So uh, anyway, uh, likes, oh, like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. Thank you, bye.